Whitney.com. Okay, so we are here at the Pool After Dark with Nikki Heaton. How does it feel to be hosting the party tonight? I am really excited. I've never done a pool party before, so this is new. Yeah, it's fun. Is this your first time in Atlantic City? It is. All right, that's cool. What are you looking forward to doing while you're here? Well, I already lost all my money on the slots, so... What does that mean all your money? Like, how much is it? I lost, like, $40, but... <laughs> But it was it was a lot of fun. I mean, I've never I just turned 21, so I've never done this type of thing. So it's cool to just experiment and see what's going on. But I'm more excited about the actual pool party. That's cool. That's really cool. We're excited to have you here. Now you were discovered on YouTube, and now you have all this stardom. How does that feel? It's really surreal, especially since I started on a platform where I was kind of stepped away from the public, where I didn't really have to go and see everyone, and everyone kind of told me how famous I was. I kind of blew up over the internet behind a screen. So it's weird to go from that to all these people staring at me. I'm like, oh, I want to go back and hide again. <laughs> what have your fans, what kind of feedback have you received from your fans and also from some of the peers that you have in the music industry? I mean, my fans are amazing. They give me the most amazing feedback ever. Um, I mean, I think the best thing that they could have given me is the fact that they take my words and my lyrics and they tattoo them on their bodies. So that's kind of the craziest thing. Where's the craziest place you've seen a tattoo? Someone got my brand NBK tatted across their chest. So that's that's commitment, yeah. And from my peers, I feel like a lot of people didn't really believe in what we were doing until we kind of showed them, but that's really how it works. So now they kind of respect it now that I showed them how to do it. So What do you love most about recording music and what is the most frustrating thing about it? What I love most about recording music is pretty much just everything, being able to take who I am and my soul and kind of make it into magic. And I think the most frustrating thing is not being able to release it as soon as I want. Because I, I always get in trouble for leaking my own stuff, and I'm not allowed to do that anymore. So that's the worst part. Yeah, well, we don't want you to get in trouble, but we do like the leaks, you know. We like to see what you're coming out with, I'll which is really cool. Bit more. <laughs> You've worked with so many really cool people in the industry. Do you have any fun behind-the-scenes stories or anything that's really embarrassing? Um, oh my gosh, there's probably so many. I mean, the most embarrassing thing I ever did recently... I hang out with a lot of rappers, obviously, so I think the last thing, I went to Magic City with a couple of my rapper friends, and I don't know the strip club etiquette very well, because I've never been to one, and I didn't know you weren't supposed to shake hands with the strippers, so that's the so most... You went in and you were shaking hands. I, I'm just so polite. I don't know how to act, but yeah, that was the most embarrassing thing. <laughs> what projects do you have going on right now? Um, right now, I'm kind of finishing up, um, finalizing a playlist from the Bedroom Tour. So I'm going to try and take all the songs that I showed all my fans and put it into like a little cute project to give to them. And then as soon as I do that, I can start recording all my new songs. So I'm just really excited about all the new music. Can you give us like a hint about the new music? Um, it's a little bit darker. It's a little bit edgier. I just, I'm trying to do something brand new and innovative, not just normal pop music. So I'm excited to just make a brand new lane. Do you have any fun hidden talents? I can pinch really, really hard with my toes. Like, creepy hard. Like, like, you can, like lift things up with them? Like, lift things up, like, take, like, the weirdest stuff. Like, if Lauren's annoying me, I'll, I'll, like, pinch her with my toes. And, like, I'll give her, like, a bruise. It's the creepiest thing ever. I have the strongest toes. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have told people that. <laughs> I love that. I think that's great. Now, tell us about the camel toe being in. Like, what's up with that? Oh, my gosh. I never knew that I was going to be an advocate for camel toes, but I feel like it's such a place of power that I just have to own it. I mean, I wear spandex all the time because I'm a curvy girl and jeans don't fit. So if I'm going to wear it, I just have to own it. Ladies, don't be, a, don't be ashamed of your camel toe. Don't do it. You know, there's a song by Fanny Pack called Camel Toe. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Echo's like, right? uh huh, oh no, fix yourself, girl, you got a camel toe. <laughs> they beat me to it. Now I have to make a new song that's like, don't fix your camel toe. <laughs> and just the last question, you know, social media is so prevalent right now, especially in the music industry. What kind of advice would you give to other people who are aspiring to be like you? I think the best bit of advice that I can give anyone who's trying to make it or follow their dream is to just be 100% them and to not change for what they think the industry wants or what they think society wants because that's the biggest mistake that they make and they lose the, their soul almost. Um, my biggest piece of advice is just be you and do something different. Just don't do the same shit. Thank you so much for being here in Atlantic City for the first time at 21. So we got you here. I don't know. I might get you hooked.
start a riot so you can bring me back here so I can actually bring the bedroom tour to Atlantic City. Did you guys like that? Alright, but for tonight, can we turn the fuck up? I kind of want to see like a dance off happen. Can we play some trap music? Maybe we can do a dance off. I love you guys. Let's get started. Come on.